Hey guys, welcome to another video where we show you what you can do during Christmas in Amsterdam. Let us know what you think, leave a heart and subscribe for more. I decided to live in Conscious Hotel, the tire station. Really nice and the staff is very friendly. The hotel is 15 minutes away from the center and right next to Vandal Park, which was our first stop. Vandal Park, the garden of the Amsterdammers. The Vondel Park is a fantastic park in the middle of Amsterdam. In summer the atmosphere is wonderful. The green oasis offers relaxation and variety to the city turmoil. With its about 47 hectares, the Vandal Park is really big. It is protected and by far the most popular park in Amsterdam. There are quiet corners with park benches and twittering birds, white ponds, generous lawns and a beautiful rose garden for your relaxation. Sometimes you see people meditating or doing even martial arts. From May to August, young artists and up-and-coming bands play on the open-air stage of the Vandal Park. There are often spontaneous parties happening in the evening.
After that we went to the center using the tram and making a stop in Dam Station so we could visit the most famous square in Amsterdam, the Dam Square. Just a 5 minute walk down the Dam Rack from Central Station takes you into the main Amsterdam Square. Those weed stores are all around Amsterdam and in general the smell of the weed in the streets is unavoidable. It is usually busy with locals and tourists day and night. There are food stalls, restaurants and shops including the trendy Bayenkov and Magna Plaza. Let's have a short stop for some snacks. Whatever the weather, there's always something going on. But without any doubt, of all the attractions in Dam Square, Royal Palace is quite literally the jewel in the crown. Pigeons at the Dam Square are like tourist attraction. You can feed them and make them fly on your head for a cool photo. They are not afraid at all. Opposite the Royal Palace, you will see the Hotel Krasnopolsky. On the south side of Dam Square stands the National Memorial Statue, built in the memory of Dutch soldiers and members of the resistance who died in World War II. And if you go to the back of the obelisk tower, you'll find the province's crests. Although no longer home to the Dutch royal family, this grand 17th century building is still used to hold official receptions. In Dam Square is the famous Madame Tussauds Museum, which we couldn't miss and it was so worth visiting. It is located in the center of the city, on Dam Square, near the Royal Palace of Amsterdam.
your moment has come. Step into the spotlight. Visit Dua Lipa, Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande, and many more celebrities at Madame Tussauds Amsterdam. Founded in 1970, it was the first Madame Tussauds that was opened in mainland Europe, as well as being the first foreign branch of the British institution. The collection of Madame Tussauds Amsterdam consists of wax figures of famous celebrities in different categories such as the golden age of Dutch history, music, sport and film. After so much fun, a break for something sweet and a hot coffee is never a bad idea. The next stop was Central Station, from where we got our cruise. The area around is really nice decorated for Christmas, as you can see. The building of the Amsterdam Central Station was built between 1881 and 1889, at the time when several important public buildings in Amsterdam were constructed. Central Station was designed by Petrus J. H. Skypers, one of the biggest Dutch architects assisted by Adolf Gent, who was responsible for the structure of the station's building and its immense platform house. Cyprus received in 1897 for the Central Station building a golden medal from the Queen. Amsterdam Central Station is actually among the most prized example of Dutch Neo-Renaissance architecture. Like other buildings from this period, the station was designed to glorify Dutch culture and represent the nation's economic prowess. Today, over 162,000 travelers pass through its gates on a daily basis, making it the most visited national heritage site in the Netherlands. Amsterdam Light Festival 2022 In the dark winter months, Amsterdam traditionally transforms into a beautiful open-air museum during the Amsterdam Light Festival. Modern artists from all over the world make spectacular light artworks that can be found in the city center of Amsterdam. The 11th edition of the Amsterdam Light Festival has the theme Imagine Beyond. With this theme, the festival will take you on a journey to the world of imagination. Imagination allows us to envision the day of tomorrow however we like. We can dream beyond the here and now. Join us on a cruise past the various light art. Look through the windows and let your fantasy run wild.
The best way to enjoy the art of the festival is with Amsterdam Light Festival Canal Cruise. From the water you have a first class view of the light art while you can relax and take it all in. The water route of the festival is designed in such a way that you can see all the artworks that are both on the canals and on the quayside. The modern and heated boats from Lovers Canal Cruises are a great way to enjoy the Amsterdam Light Festival. Along the way, the audio guide in Dutch and English tells you more about the beautiful light installations you see along the Light Festival tour in Amsterdam. Each works of art on display for this light tour through Amsterdam naturally tells its own story. However, there are many common themes and stories to discover. The coldest and darkest months of the year will be a lot brighter and cozier with Amsterdam Light Festival boat tickets. From there we decided to go to Van Gogh Museum. The Van Gogh Museum conducts research on the life and work of Vincent Van Gogh and the art of his time. The permanent collection includes over 200 paintings of Vincent van Gogh, 500 drawings and more than 750 letters. The museum also presents exhibitions on various subjects from 19th century art history. Unfortunately, we didn't go inside because it was sold out, so to not make our mistake, book your ticket online one or two days before. Really close to Van Gogh Museum is the Rijksmuseum. A rainy walk around 5 minutes that didn't really bother us because the buildings in Amsterdam are so impressive that we were just looking around amazed. On many of these streets you find signs stating that cars are guests, therefore we don't recommend you to take a car in the center of Amsterdam. The public transportation is easy to use and is not expensive. The Rijksmuseum is the National Museum of the Netherlands. It tells the story of over 800 years of Dutch history, from 1200 to now. In addition, they organize several exhibitions per year from their own collection and with international loans.
a historical museum priming with new possibilities. Take time out with the Dutch masterpieces for a fresh take on today. Next to Rijks Museum is the Ice Rink Museum Plain and the Christmas Market. You can find there everything from clothing to accessories, hot chocolate to delicious cuisine, Christmas trees and Christmas decorations, as well as handmade gifts. Come and have fun at Ice Amsterdam. The ice rink is open daily, even until February 5th. Eat, drink and find the best Christmas gifts at the cozy Christmas market located right next to the ice rink. The market opens from December 14th to December 26th and is fun to visit for all ages. You can walk across the market and warm up at one of the fireplaces. It is such a nice winter feeling. The diverse range of lunch and dinner dishes makes it the perfect place to enjoy a winter atmosphere with friends and family. Our last stop is the Older Church, a church located in Binnenstadt. The Old Church is Amsterdam's oldest building and youngest art institutes since 2012. The building was founded around 1213 and consecrated in 1306 by the Bishop of Utrecht with St. Nicholas as its patron saint. After the Reformation in 1578, it became a Calvinist church, which it remains today. It stands in De Wallen, now Amsterdam's main red light district. The square surrounding the church is the Oude Kerksplein. The Netherlands has become the world's leading example of a cycling nation. The country has more bikes than citizens, and even the country's prime minister often cycles to work. But the Netherlands didn't stop there. The country also has a series of roads used by cars and bikes, where bikes have priority. This sign made us laugh, it can get pretty expensive and unpleasant. Check our next video, don't forget to subscribe and follow us for more on our social media. See you soon!